welcome to the zen zone this footage is from my 1x2 which doesn't do great in low light i still want to try to inspire you to ride in portland the friday night ride and then to travel to seattle for the saturday night saturday night ride so you can technically hit the ride in portland on friday night stay the night there then drive to seattle and then do the seattle night ride it's only like a three hour drive so within three hours you could do two of the biggest group rides in the world and they're consistently the biggest group rides in the world. Friday night ride in Portland and the Seattle Seattle night ride are two of the biggest group rides that happen on a weekly basis. So you come up for the summer, do the Friday night Portland ride, and then boom, hit up the Seattle ride. It is one of the funnest things you can do. And then if you really want to stretch it out, you go to the Bay Area as well. The Bay Area has some beautiful rides, but that's that would be like a separate longer tour. I think it would be better if you put like bay area into la san diego tour but you could hit all of them up if you're doing a cool west coast tour start from san diego hit up la bay area portland seattle and you're hitting up some of the best rides in the world this footage is from the portland ride and the seattle the seattle night ride also have some bay area footage when i post soon there are so many rides out there i need to get back Bay Area has some of the best rides. Man, I mean, America, the West Coast, we have some of the best rides. Even the East Coast, they have some of the best rides. Look at New York, man. They are creating some spectacular footage out there. The cinematography, too, is evolving. It's cool to see. I'm excited for a better 1X2 camera. I wish it would work better in low light and work better, like, if it could do 4K, that would be great. Which I think it would actually need to be, like, 8K. I saw their new, the new 1X... One X S. I don't remember what the new camera was because it didn't inspire me at all. I saw the pictures of it. It's like that looks heavy and it doesn't look like it's worth paying seven dollars to upgrade at this time. I think I'm gonna hold out and wait for a better 360 camera. Don't know when that's gonna be. And the higher frames it can get to, that would be great as well. For now, the One X2 still seems like the best selfie cam, especially if you're using it during the daytime. I feel like all the best content creators or the biggest, let's not say the best, but some of the top content creators that have the most following, they're using this camera. Like Austin Hill, uh, Electric Dreams, Electric Roller. I don't know, pretty much anybody is using this camera right now. Wheelie Dope is using this. There are so many content creators that use the One X2. And yeah, it's a great camera. During the daytime, during nighttime, not so great, low light. Tried my best to correct some of the color here. Hopefully, it's good enough to inspire you guys to come and try these rides. Let me know if you've tried one of these rides. If you have, let me know what you think about these rides. Any tips you have for these rides for being safe. I think being more visible is something I would like to add to my own uh, arsenal. Is some better lights. I need some better lights for night rides. I don't ride too much at night here in Vegas. So, I haven't really thought about my night riding too much but i need more visibility something brighter i think get like a lazy rollers jacket and then some kind of strobe light so i'm more visible at night on these group rides that's a critique of myself something that you know you should always be thinking about is how to be more visible for the rides you're doing if you're riding off-road during the day you don't really need to be visible at all right you're off-roading there's nobody the biggest threat to you see riders is cars trucks the larger vehicles those are the biggest threat to euc riders and that's the reason you need uh, the most possible visibility you can get here in vegas i don't ride too much at night and if i do ride at night um, i'm riding in areas i know that aren't going to be well trafficked and then every now and then if it's like a group ride or a bigger event i'll head to the strip um, that's you know as long as you're in a big group you should be fine on the strip it's not something i do often by myself i've done it a few times but it, it's really risk reward you know the risk some drunk driver hitting you or someone that's just out having a good time not paying attention to an euc rider that doesn't have great lights you know if i had great lights on it would still still would be you know high risk in my opinion not worth you know going down a straight road that i've been down many before there's not really features or any turns on the strip it's a straight road and there's a lot of stop lights that are really long so if you've already done it it's not really that fun of a ride but it's a spectacular ride. you get to see lots of lights and it's a spectacle right that's what vegas is it's a spectacle especially the strip and then when you get to downtown it gets a little bit nicer there's actually bike lanes and there's actually some cool flow you can hit some notes on the master and s22 
To me, from what I've seen online, it still seems like the master is the way to go overall. If you're gonna if you're gonna dive into a batch one unit, it seems like the master is way to go. The only issue I've seen with people cutting out is when they've blown their boards from jumping it. I've known two people now, two content creators actually, that have blown their boards on the master doing jumps. So that's something it'll blow the capacitor. Something don't do jumps on the master unless you got some kind of shock in it that is keeping you from bottoming out. And even then, even if you weren't bottoming out, it still may be risky on those bigger jumps. Something to keep in mind. I blew my EX board doing jumps. Not me, but it blew my EX board doing jumps. So these bigot wheels aren't made, for, the suspension wheels aren't made for jumping. Something to keep in mind. Then regarding the S22, I'm aware of two S22s now that look like they're having random cutouts or random force randomly dying. It doesn't seem like there seems to be any indicator reason for it happening. Get over 100 miles and it randomly cuts out. I'm a bit worried about that. Keep an eye out. We'll update you guys on this channel. I like to bring up some news every now and then. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you have the opportunity to go up to Portland and Seattle and join some of their group rides. You won't regret it and you'll remember it for forever. Some of the best people I've met are in Portland and Seattle. Like I'm excited to see these people again. It makes me want to go up just to see those people again. So I hope you get the opportunity to meet them and ride with them. Until next time, stay in the Zen Zone. If you get the chance, to leave a comment, leave a like, hit the sub button, share this video out, use my affiliate code, check out zenly.com, any of that, and all of the above helps me out, helps me keep making content, keeps me staying positive and moving forward. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and stay in the Zen.